Hey, hey, I am Igra Glass, and today I'll tell you how to start programming in C language, and we will install compiler, we will install IDE, and uh, we'll write our first program, C language, not C++, but C, and CC. So, uh, kind of, how, how to start? You need to write the code first, but what to do with this code? You need to compile it. Then you need to make create make files and also link them. And finally build. Build your program to create binary file, exe, exe file. So to write the code, you use for this purpose ID. Integrated development environment. And we will use code light ID. It's very good one because it's very lightweight. It's uh, very fast even at all PCs. So it's very good for starting, for learning and for serious projects too. So it's a very cool thing. And for all other things, we will use uh, Ming MinGV. MinGV compiler, uh, and I'll show how to install it properly. First of all, you need to install MinGV, not the IDE, because IDE is kind of quite optional thing. Actually, we could write our code even in Notepad. For example, here we could like start and uh, write our first program, it's, uh, and then we could compile it. Uh, but IDE is useful because you could easily find bugs in your code, some mistakes, errors, problems, so yeah, we will need it. But first, let's install MinGV, our compiler. Uh, to do so, just enter the Google and um, get to the website MinGV, Minimalist GNU, <laughs> and here in top right corner, downloads, and yes, uh, just this MinGV get setup exe, or you could uh, click at this, it will be the same thing. So, um, download. It's very small utility, very small program, which is super useful. When I just started programming, I thought that um, I, I run, I tried this program, and I thought that mm, it's quite uh, not friendly interface. This is quite, quite clunky. So I let's run it, install it to see MinGV, it's all right. Do not change anything uh, here. So yeah, let's close everything. Yeah, just uh, use this default settings and wait when it will uh, download small um, packages. But when I just started to use it, I was quite puzzled how to use it, actually. It's not easy <laughs> to comprehend by yourself. Uh, and also, I thought that it's something quite, like, not comfortable to use, something like a lot of things which I do not need. But later on, I understood that this is the best ever package because you could control everything here and it's quite easy to understand. So after we have 113 out of 113, you could have different numbers here. Uh, we just downloaded the basic uh, package in GV installer and now we could choose what to install and th this is a really cool thing. You could uh, try basic installs but um, I, I'll just show you how, to, how it works uh, properly. Yeah. <laughs> so what do we need? As we are coding in C language, uh, we need, uh, first we need compiler. I mean GV compiler suite. So you see, it's like a three, like a tree, and we need this one, mean GV compiler suite. And here, take a look in description. So there is a package name and description. So we need um, to choose everything uh, what has like the GNU C compiler. It's uh, the um, possibility for us to compile the code. So yeah, we, we download all, all this stuff. What else do we need? 
uh, when we when you choose it when you choose it uh, Minjivi installation manager it's quite smart thing it's already uh, chosen for you useful things but not all things which you need because yes right now you could just compile the code but you can't make make files can't link can't build can't debug so now let's choose some more stuff uh, some libraries for example useful libraries it's libraries for character um, set conversion I definitely recommend to um, to install it so you you just choose it like this yeah you, you could um, you could do it later but yeah it's just most useful stuff then let's choose all packages it will be easier uh, to find what we need and we need uh, make utility so we're looking for this uh, Minjiv make bin yeah so yeah, you could this doc, lang, leads, uh, you could just do not uh, install it because it's kind of uh, a documentation stuff. Uh, so you could just uh, use only install only binary file. Then uh, make files. So with this utility, you will be able to make uh, make files. Now you need uh, to install also c++ by the way yeah um, why do you need to do it uh, because id which we will use it's using uh, while you link stuff it's using c++ linker so yeah even if you use you want to code in c language you still need this tiny package uh, then let's get also debugger yeah because um, you could uh, do it later you could install it right now why not so just install the binary and that's it so you will be able to go step by step and uh, yeah th this is basically that's it that's it so we have our uh, compiler we have some uh, libraries we have a make file, um, we have creator, make file creator, um, C++ and um, debug. That's it. Now we push installation and apply changes. Apply. So now our installation manager downloading all these packages. They are not um, really big size as you could see. <laughs> yeah. So in a few seconds it will end. Okay, it's downloaded and it's already extracted. So let's close it. And now you could see that uh, in our installation manager we already have uh, all these packages. They are installed. What does it mean? They are installed. Actually, it means very simple thing. So uh, we have this uh, setup at disk C, MinGV, and here we have a bin folder. And all this stuff which we installed, it's inside. It's all these binary files .exe. So, uh, what now? Now you could try. You, now you could try to run from common prompt. Yeah, uh, cmd, cmd, uh, to run Windows common prompt. And here you could try uh, to check. Do you have GSS, G GCC? compiler installed and as you see we do not have it why because we need to add it to our operation system uh, path uh, to add this variable it's quite easy to do just open start menu and here go to control panel system and security system and advanced system settings here in advanced tab you will have environment variables another way to find it's very easily just put path in the search and you will get to this place so here we have system variables and this little uh, thing just double click at it and here we need to add a path to the folder where we have our binaries yeah this one so just you could copy it or 
right with your hands double click and empty field enter it and push ok once and ok twice if you wouldn't push ok it wouldn't save okay that's it and right let's uh, run it again um okay i th i think that i didn't push ok properly <laughs> yeah it happens uh so let's go again path from start here we will see path ah it okay it's here it's here then i think we need to restart our command prompt and let's try yeah now it works you see uh gcc um, dash v show the version of your compiler so it means that you could compile programs already you could write them in your notepad and could compile them to could create exe files but to do it to make it very comfortable and fun you should use id there are lots of different ids but as I said, for new programmer and just, you could learn them in time. You, you do not need a lot of things which exist in others. IDs, like Visual uh, C, it has huge amount of stuff which you wouldn't use and it will be very heavy in style and you need to prolongate your license. Also, there is like um, C Builder all community edition a, a lot of different but the best for the beginning it's code light because it's very fast super fast so enter the code light.org and let's download it down i'll download 32-bit uh, installer you could 64 so and after you download it run it and install it's very easy to install very easy to install just a few clicks also why i love it because it's very friendly for new users because there is a wizard to create new project because when i just started to learn how to code it was a big problem to create a project which worked properly i started with the borland old version of borland so yeah we accept everything we do not read anything <laughs> all this agreement okay i agree for everything you see it's super small all together it's like less than 200 megabytes which is compared to visual code which is seven uh, uh compared i know that yeah community builder it's six gigabytes so much more several times more and much slower so let's start code light uh you see you started it and it's show you uh, setup wizard it's like hello my new friend i'll help you let's put uh, next here we will we choose uh, development profile we will use c development profile c c plus plus there is no it's like they are together they should be together it's all right uh then he he is like hmm do you have compilers and you could uh, just clean, click scan and it will find it automatically. It's a very useful thing because, uh, yeah, when you are new, it's hard to even link compiler, link libraries. So it's super, super easy to use. Uh, colors. I like dark theme. You could ch uh, use different ones. I like to use tabs. You could use spaces. Yeah. <laughs> And that's it. Syst um, code light will restart after you created um, your after you used wizard. And now let's create new workspace. Just click new create new workspace. C plus plus. Okay. Uh, the name. Choose the name for your project. Yeah, and put it somewhere. For example, I want to put it to my GitHub folder. Yes. And let's call it like um, workspace one workspace one okay uh, here we need to create project click file new new project and here we should like choose what we want which program we will compile eventually when you just start you use console application you create console application so you choose console in category 
then type uh, you choose your uh, compiler so as we use as we will uh, code in C we use GCC when we when we choose it we actually just give the link to the IDE we give the link to our mingv bin folder so here we go jet says uh, it's um, you could find it yeah it's here you could even run it so you uh, have everything here you could call you could use always use your console so uh, then we choose our compiler here which we already installed and we choose our debugger which we also installed in advance and it's great now choose ok and we have our project number one and hello world file <laughs> also <laughs> exists here so we, we do not even need to write it <laughs> guys it's our first program what does it mean include doh it's we included like headers uh, like a library which will operate then we have function all program in c all programs they have they start their main uh, like core it's main it's like main function so here we could put like like make it empty then we open this function and in its body we have like print as hello world and go to the next um next stroke and return something every function should return something so return nothing <laughs> and now we could build it yeah? so uh, build build project and it's build it and we do not have any errors if you have certain errors it means that we that you forget uh, to install something in your installation manager for example when i also learned how to do it i forgot to install g++ thing which used by linker as i said uh, then if you want to debug for example if you push f5 build and debug uh, you will also would have some errors if you forgot to install debugger so yeah you with with this mean gv installation manager you could fulfill all your fantasies and now you could build your program to create exe file from this to do so go in context menu build and yeah just run the project and then you will see it uh, properly you will see um, hello world in your common prompt so in your console uh, you could also build project and then you will have your binary file in the folder so you could find it and you could run this program it's a real program you see when you start it it doesn't show you anything very fast so you could um, push shift right mouse button open powershell window here and start it from here then uh, you will uh, see uh, this it wouldn't um, disappear yeah useful thing but yes yeah, the fastest way is push ctrl f5 ctrl f5 from uad uh, id would will show you everything and will wait for your any key so guys uh, that's it it's your first program <laughs> we made it hope to see your comments please write to me uh, your questions and i'll make more videos don't forget to subscribe my uh, at my channel my youtube channel and don't forget to put your likes to support my efforts have a good day bye bye